Hey, what's up guys? Dreamer here, Swimmer here, and today we're doing a review of the Sage Motive. The first thing before you get into the rod's active features is when, if when you're in the store, you're looking online, and you actually take a look at the rod, it is a absolutely beautiful color, and its finish is very well done. That's the thing I love about Sage product, is that everything about it is so handcrafted, no matter what. You don't see any bubbles, you don't see anything like that, it's just beautiful. And the Sage Motive is a beautiful electric blue, which I think fits really well with the theme of saltwater water fly fishing being in the ocean that is blue. Its case, it, it shares the same color scheme, it doesn't have any too complicated designs. So for a second I just want to talk about the case. Pretty much every rod nowadays comes with a tube like case like this one. But the Sage Motive's case is slightly different, but I think it's really for the better. The Sage Motive's case has this strap right over here that I think is really important. It means it's a lot easier to throw over your shoulder when you're traveling. I have a lot of problems of where you put this rod to when you're traveling. You try to stick in your bag, but it's obviously too tall. But I think Sage really made a good decision by having this strap. They also have a buckle on the strap, so if you don't want the strap, you can just unbuckle it. So I think the case is really well designed, it's hard, and it'll protect your investment. So the Sage Motive is about a, is about five hundred dollars, four hundred fifty to five hundred dollars. This is I bought it in an eight weight version. This is a very very versatile setup, and it's something that is in the mid range of most saltwater fly rods. You know, you have stuff that's in the two hundred to one hundred to two hundred dollar range, and you have stuff that's like you know the uh, Orvis Clearwater or the Eco Base or the Eco salt or whatever and then on the higher end you have stuff like you know these this g lumis nrx and the sage x and the orvis h3 but this sits right in the middle at 500 dollars, and i really do think at this price point it is very affordable sage also has a guaranteed warranty which is really nice and i know a lot of i have never sent a product into sage but a lot of products in the fly fishing industry generally have good warranties i've sent a lot of stuff into orvis and other companies and they were perfectly happy with it. Perfectly, I mean, sorry, they were perfectly good with it and re returned it and honored the warranty. So now let's talk about, talk about the way it casts. The Sage Motive casts great, in my opinion. I've thrown it with a, re, with a Rio Redfish line, with a Rio Bonefish Quick Shooter line. I've thrown a heavy sink tip, and it's done well in all these now. The, the aid weight is truly a work workhorse. I can use this to throw frogs in a scummy pond, or I could use it, you know, to sight fish the, the flats or bonefish because this it has so it just has so much possibility this type of rod. And I really think the motive is a great rod. It, it's very good at throwing into wind. It is a very aggressive. It requires you to. It's fast blank, but I think that's really good, especially in the salt. For chucking heavy flies long distances in the wind, but if you look there, someone who fishes glass a lot or is not used to the faster length, it might be it might be a little bit hard to adjust to. So I'd keep that in mind. Overall, I'd say for five hundred dollars, the Sage Motive is about a good as good as a fly rod as you can get. It's beaut it has a beautiful color, a beautiful finish from a great company that honors the warranty, and it casts great. I don't know what else, much else you can ask for. Alright guys, thanks for watching this short little review. Let me know what product you want me to review next, and what you think of the Sage Motive, if you have it, and if you don't, why you didn't buy it. Alright guys, see you next time. Stream Swinger, out!